I'm spending 5 million MT on these best of my team super packs. These packs contain Pink Diamond Wemby, Pink Diamond Giannis, Pink Diamond Kobe, and every single diamond that has been released in the game so far with actually some insane odds. We've got a 5% chance at a diamond, a 30% chance at an amethyst, and an under 2% chance at a pink diamond. So with 5 million MT, do you guys think we're going to pull one pink diamond? You know what, let's make this fun. For every pink diamond I pull, I have to run one kilometer. And I I'm not a good runner, like not a good runner. So be sure to smash that like button if you enjoy this video. And yes, I know I'm actually at 4.25 million MT, but once I quick sell a bunch of cards that we pull, it will be five mil. So let's get into these packs straight away. These packs contain at least a ruby or higher. So first pack up tells us how it's gonna go. No shakes, that means it's just a guaranteed ruby, not what we wanna see. But yes, with five million MT, that means we're gonna open up over 200 of these packs and straight away, we get ourselves a shake. That's what we wanna see and which shake is it going to be a center from uh is that dwight howard yeah it looks like dwight howard and i think this is the level up card i don't even have this card so dwight welcome to the team now if you guys saw my video from yesterday you may know why i actually am spending all this mt on packs when really you shouldn't spend your mt on packs there is a good reason for it but i don't really want to say it in this video so make sure to check out yesterday's video we're getting rubies once again that's three rubies so far but yeah this is our first duplicate so we'll just quick sell it i tell you what i hope you guys like the little counter down there on all the cards we're going to get because this is going to be so much like this is going to be so much work to actually put counters next to every single gem but at least we get a shake this time will this one be better than an amethyst no it's just an amethyst i feel like we're almost getting to that time now where amethyst shouldn't shake i know they still go for a lot of mt but i don't really care about pulling any single amethyst i'm only looking for the diamonds and pink diamonds this one's jalen green this is what i'm saying though this is a card that we have so we have to quick sell him for 33k which is how i'm going to get up to five mil so hey we actually made 8,000 mt from opening up that pack which isn't too bad can we go back to back absolutely not we get christmas colors though shout out to christmas the real question is though did you guys have a good christmas personally i had a great one I really enjoyed it. Spent a lot of time with my family and so on. So it was good. And yeah, we did a bunch of stuff. Like really, it was a hectic day. Had some amazing food and so on. This time we do get another shake and it is just another amethyst. Yeah, these super packs are a bit boring with all the amethysts. But let me know what you guys did for Christmas as well. I'm actually kind of nervous if we end up pulling a pink diamond and then I have to go for a 1k run because I'll make sure to do it quickly. We get Clay Thompson and this is weird because I kind of forgot that you could pull 2k day cards because they dropped day one. And I remember that Clay Thompson was actually a card I ended up getting day one as well. And I remember he was all right. I didn't actually find him too great, but that's okay. But yeah, I wasn't really complaining with it if I'm being honest, if I'm being honest with that Clay Thompson. Next one up, surely we got to get a shake. Like this is not looking like 30%. Like is this looking like 30% odds at least for a amethyst or higher? I I don't think so. Like this has been at least four packs in a row with just rubies. And to think we've done a lot of MT so far, I think it's about 400,000 and we haven't seen one thing better than an amethyst. I don't know what I really think of that. Like 5% odds should mean that in this entire pack opening, we pull 10 diamonds and we have only seen rubies and amethysts so far. The annoying part is, is the amethysts and so on that we're getting are really not exciting. Like I want to see a shake. Bro, it's ruby or higher, and we are really just getting the rubies. This one, finally, we end up getting a shake. Surely this one has to be a diamond. Let's get it. Let's see it. No, it's just an amethyst. Like, I don't know. I thought I was going to be seeing a lot better in this pack opening, but right now, we are just seeing the same thing. This card is a beast, though. I actually really want him on my no money spend. It is none other than Nick Young. So what's that? Four amethysts? I can't even remember. I know we have the counter down there to actually keep me on track, and this time... Finally, we go back to back with the Amethyst. Okay, maybe it's making up for it right now. Who's this one going to be? A power forward. Is that Rashad Lewis? I can't even remember when this card came out, what this card is a part of a set for. What is it? Oh yeah, it's Swagger. That's probably the worst set in the game. Like when that set dropped with Diamond Macau Bridges as the headliner, I don't think really anyone was excited. Unfortunately, we can't go three in a row. We're back to the rubies, but Nick Claxton is a beast. And I want to keep on talking to you guys and then go into the highlights until I get a diamond. But how long is that going to take? We get another shake this time and... Okay, it didn't take long at all. We get our first diamond. Finally, it took a long time. And who's this diamond actually going to be? Let's see. Let's make it great. Small forward. And is that uh, Paces? It's Ron Artest. I already have him on this count, but it's actually a beast of a card to pull. Ron, welcome to the squad. Actually, I should say, Ron, we're going to quick sell you straight away. But it's 73,000 MT, so I'll definitely take that. All right, that's actually a good pull. That's a great pull. And as I said, that's the reason why we're certainly going to reach at least 5 million MT. So this one here, 
Unfortunately, not back to back. Okay, how many pink diamonds and diamonds are we going to pull though? Like to think that we've got one so far in the amount of MT we've opened is, I don't know if that's great or not. Like I think we spent about 500,000 MT and we've pulled one diamond and a couple of amethysts. So I wouldn't say that's the best, but I wouldn't say it's the worst. At least we've seen one of those diamonds. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for those diamonds and potentially just one pink diamond. Like imagine if we're actually able to pull a pink diamond. Imagine if it's on this one right here. Bang. No, it's just an amethyst. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. I've never seen a pink diamond in an actual pack. So it would be crazy to do it in this video right here. This one looks like Kemba Walker, is it? Is this a part of that rant? No, it's the Tis the Season. Okay. Sure, I kind of forgot about that, but sure, it's another card we can just quick sell. Maybe we just won't stop opening these packs. Like, I've been recording for quite a while. What is it? Like, eight minutes straight, and we still are going. I mean, I feel like that's kind of obvious that we're still going with these packs, but I was just, I don't know. I just feel like this is going to take an extremely long time. And as an avid pack opener, I don't think I've ever complained about opening up too many packs, but this might be just too many. Over 200. Surely. I mean, surely. Surely we're able to see at least one pink diamond. Like, oh, okay. Could you imagine if that was it? Could you imagine? And I have actually seen people pull players such as Pink Diamond Kobe and so on out of these packs. This one's Vince Carter, another player that came out quite early, another player that was a beast in his heyday. Yo, want to know how much I care? Not anymore. I don't care at all anymore. So next one up, next one up, another shake. Let's go. We get an amethyst there. We get an amethyst here. All right, life. Do I have to see it? Will we already have this card? Will we already have pulled this card? Small forward. There's no way it's been scanned. No, it's going to be James Worthy. Yes, we already have the card. No, we haven't pulled him yet. So James Worthy, welcome to the squad. Or should I say the quick sell section? Because you're quick sell. Hmm, should I ask you guys some crazy rhetorical questions? I love these sorts of questions, by the way. Like I do it all the time at the dinner table. When we're just sitting there, I'll just ask a random question to everyone sitting there. And they'll just be like, how did you come up with this question? My answer, I've got no idea. So let me think of one. As we pull Jason Tatum out of this one, another 2K day player. My one from the other day is what's your favorite meat? Now, this question for me was actually very difficult as we get a diamond. Maybe I could sh should talk about more meat because we got a diamond just like that. This one's a power forward and it's gonna be Tim Duncan. It's not the most exciting card, but it is a diamond and that's our second diamond pool so far. So Timmy D, welcome to the team. But yes, my favorite meat is an interesting one because my favorite food in the world is a chicken parmigiana. And if you don't know what chicken parmy is, yeah, just chill. Bang, look at this photo right here. Oh my God, it is scrumptious. It's got the chicken on the bottom, the like tomato Napoli, Napoli sauce. Is that what it is? I don't know. And then the ham on top. My word, it is beautiful. So that's my favorite food in the world. But then ham is also one of my favorite things and chicken is also in that. So it's like, are those two my favorite meats? I don't know. The issue is though, is I only usually have those meats together on the chicken parmy. Like I have that super common, but then my favorite meat is then probably a steak. So it's like, hmm, what am I meant to say in this situation? So I was really stuck at the dinner table. This was a Christmas day question that I... I got to talk about more meat. I got to talk about more meat. What is happening right now with these diamond pulls? A point guard this time is this one, Tyrese Halliburton. This is my first time actually pulling one of the special inserts that is the collective re reward from a collection. So there's Tyrese Halliburton, who yes, I already have, which no, isn't a bad thing because he quick sells with 73K. I ended up coming to a standard that fish and pork were my two bottom, but then I don't know after that, but I think I ended up on steak. Do you see how these random questions come out and then I've just got no idea where my brain is going and everyone around the table is just like, Angus, what are you on? And I just say, nothing, it's just me. So you know what? You guys are stuck with me for a long time because we have still got over 4 million MT to go. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And that's really what I got to say. You know what? You guys are welcome. You guys are welcome because after this pack right here, as we get Fred Van Fleet, shout out to Drake, we're just going to go to the shakes only. You guys must be sitting there going, Oh, thank God. Tell you what, maybe I won't do this because ever since I've done it, I haven't got a shake in like five packs, which is a lot of MT. Like we're still getting rubies like this. Hmm, what's my favorite meat? Let's talk about more meat and then it'll hit us with a good pack. Is that what I'm saying? No, this time it doesn't. That's fine. You know what? I get it. I get it. This one's surely a shake and it is. Finally, we actually get a shake. That was like eight packs in a row without getting a shake. But then we finally get one. And this one's going to be Gilbert Arenas. Gun on me, Gilbert Arenas. I, wait, is that how the song goes? I can't even remember. It's a Juice World song, but shout out to Gilbert Arenas. Is there any chance now we're going to go back to back after some terrible packs? No, we're back to the rubies. Great. Oh yeah, I probably should say the reason I'm doing this is because I actually want to do like a little bit of an experiment to see if it's actually worth to spend your MT on packs because I know a lot of people will say no but the issue is if right now I pulled pink diamond Kobe Bryant it would actually be worth it and that looks like a good shake I'm feeling good no it's just a normal shake I don't 
know if there's any difference, but that one just felt good. But that's what I'm saying. If I pull Pink Diamond Kobe Bryant now, even though I've spent over 1 million MT, it'll actually be a worth pack opening because Kobe costs about 2 million. So I know it's weird to say, but that's actually the truth. So next pack up, let's go back to back and no. Okay, we're back to the rubies. You know what? I'm back to doing the highlights. Oh, there we go with another amethyst in the middle. And for some reason it lags. So maybe that means it's going to be a good one. And is it going to be one that we've already seen? Shooting guard, it could be Nick Young. No, it looks like a new player. Number 50, is this Corey Maggetti? Is that who it is? I don't even remember him having an amethyst. Yeah, it is. I literally don't remember this card at all. Rocking around the Christmas tree have a happy holiday yeah shout out to uh, that song because it just hit us with an amethyst and it hit us with one a really good one actually being andre kirilenko i can't wait until he gets better card it'll be so good i feel like more in this year's my team than ever i have enjoyed defenders like players like ron artest and so on are just so op just because they can get so easy steals and get you so many turnovers that lead to scores so we get another amethyst in this one for some reason when i talk i get much better luck so out of this one power forward number 25 is this pj washington i think he's from that random set that i forgot what it's called yep it is it's from the breakout it's pj oh, yeah i also said on christmas day what's everyone's favorite christmas song my favorite christmas song is go santa go if i pull a diamond or an amethyst in the next three packs i'll sing it to you i pretty much do it every christmas to be honest when i actually do mention this i mention my favorite christmas song and it's go santa go every year but you know what maybe we're not going to do it because we've only got two packs remaining until you guys hear it only one now. Only one. Is it going to happen? Is, poor oh, you guys are so unlucky. I know you're sad. Oh, my viewers are very emotional because they don't hear me sing. But we finally get a shake and we finally get an amethyst. That was literally the next pack after the last thing I said. So I should have just not talked the entire time. Then we would have got Jason Tatum again, who I think is a player. No, I don't think we pulled him. I don't think we pulled his amethyst. So nice. Oh, we have. Okay. He quick sells for 11K. What? That is absolutely nothing for an amethyst. But I guess you can buy him for quite cheap. Back to the rubies, we go. Oh yeah, but this TJ Warren quick sells for 13K. I don't know what's going on. So I guess that means we got that last pack for half price. And this pack we got for full price. All the way from the North Pole. Go Santa, go. Go, go. Yes, sir. Okay, I knew it was going to work. That's my favorite Christmas song, by the way. It's from the Wiggles and it hits us with a diamond just like that. It was my first time singing it and we did it straight away. And this one does look like a new player. It looks like another collection reward being Carmelo Anthony. I actually don't even have this card on my main account. So Melo, welcome to the team. I will absolutely take that from the Go Santa Go singing uh, singing session. Singing session, yep, that's what we'll call it. Rubies again. This pack is now gonna bring us under 3 million MT and it does hit us just with a ruby. Actually, it's 3 million MT on the dot. But yes, I know I'm skipping a lot of packs, but the reason I'm doing that is because this is a lot of packs to open and I don't wanna show every single one, which actually kind of goes against my laws because in my videos, I tell myself I have to show you guys every single pack just because I don't wanna create something that doesn't show the genuine pack odds in the video which is why on this one when i'm skipping it i'm showing you guys all the odds down the bottom of everything we pull but i'm telling you out of 5 million mt all i want is just one pink time oh we get a shake on this one and what is it another diamond okay these have definitely turned up just a little bit that's only in about what 10 packs i think that's two diamonds and this one's pascal siakam so I will certainly take that. Like, absolutely take a Pascal Siakam just like that. And back to back, we get it. Yo, we actually just went back to back. Back to back diamonds. I did not think that was possible, but we've done it with a point guard this time. And this time it's Steph Curry, which again is a collection reward. And it's the cooking version of Steph Curry. Yeah, rub those hands, baby. What a pull. To go back to back is pretty crazy. There's absolutely no way we do it back to back to back. Hey, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I thought there was a way. There ain't no way. Oh, we get a shake. This one's just an amethyst. So not really what we want to see. Is it a player that we've already pulled? A power forward, I'm guessing Andre Kirilenko. No, this one's going to be Aaron Gordon from the Orlando Magic. Fun fact, my girlfriend's favorite team. So shout out to the Magic. Shout out to Aaron. I know he doesn't play there anymore as we get another shake this time, but that's okay. You can still support the team, support the players, the ex-players that used to be there. OG, this one is actually a pretty good pull. Yeah, it's definitely OG. Actually a pretty good pull. I'm excited to hopefully use this card. Oh, another shake. For some reason, that looks like a bigger shake i don't know if i'm tripping but for some reason it does and okay well i thought i was tripping for some reason when i look like i see a diamond shake it looks bigger but i might be tripping on that one this one looks like Derek white or kember again it's going to be kember again we've already pulled him so we'll just quick sell him you know what's crazy is i'm about halfway right now and this has taken so long okay this has been a lot of packs in a row without anything other than a ruby so this one 
Yep, it's still a ruby. Great. Okay, we got a shake in this one. It is another diamond. All right, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Is that diamond number six or something? I can't even remember now, but... This one's Magic Johnson, which again is a beastly card that you had to lock in for, but no, we just pulled him out of the super pack. I got the magic in me. And we've just opened up a hundred packs as one of our My Team agendas. Unfortunately, we don't go back to back with the diamonds again. Oh, another shake, another diamond. Yo, that's what? Two diamonds in three packs. So they really come in bunches. Is this one gonna be Pascal Siakam again? Yes, it is. So. We're just going to have to quick sell him for what? The 70,000 MT. I'm not complaining with that. Let's get rid of him. He was actually a little bit cheaper at only 60,000 MT. But can we go back to back with the shakes? Because we saw a diamond so quickly. Hey, we do go back to back with the shakes. This time with an amethyst smack bang in the middle. A shooting guard. And it looks like Corey Maggetti. We don't care. I've gone back to back. Yo, what is going on with these diamonds? That is three in, I think, five packs. Another power forward. This one is a, not a new player. This one's Tim Duncan once again. I feel like power forward is a position we don't want to see. But Tim Duncan, welcome to the quick sell section, I guess. I'll take the 50K. Once again, a lot of packs with the outer shake. Like, I reckon that was close to 10. But at least we actually ended up getting a bunch of those diamonds before. This one's Danny Ferry, which is a card I haven't used. I haven't heard many people talk about, but there he is. Oh, another shake this time. What's this one? Another amethyst. I feel like we're going to get a bunch of amethysts here. But again, I'm just looking for that pink diamond. So it's another player we haven't pulled yet. This one's Trey Young, who I think again was one of the special inserts and AKA a collection reward. But I do remember he was a free card. As we get another shake, and again, it's just an amethyst. This was a long time between it. Like you guys can see that number of rubies just going up and that number of packs just going up. This is the reason for it. This is absolutely the reason for it. We do get another James Worthy. Quick sell though. Oh, well, we got back-to-back -back shakes again. And this one's another Amethyst. So I'll definitely take back-to-back -back shakes. And is it a new player? It's very rare nowadays that we're actually going to get new players out of the best of packs because we've pulled so many Amethysts and so many Diamonds. It's Nick Young, who's another Duke. I've been recording for over 35 minutes and we've only hit halfway just now. At least we're getting ourselves another Amethyst. But I think when I get Amethyst now, I'm just going to show you guys I got an Amethyst, show you guys who the player is, rather than talking through this whole walkthrough. So there's another Amethyst, this time in the middle. And hey, it does look like a player we haven't pulled yet, which is actually quite rare. It's going to be Scoot. Henderson out of this one. Oh, another shake, another amethyst. This one is Paulo Bancaro. Oh, what? We got a diamond. Okay, I will definitely take that. In the middle, did not expect that. Straight after the amethyst, and this diamond is another point guard. This one looks like Russell Westbrook, who actually is a beast of a card. I'm more than happy to add Russ West to this team. Oh, another shake, another amethyst. That's fine. Now it's a player we've pulled so many times being Kemba Walker. Oh, we back to back shakes, a back to back amethyst. This one is a card we definitely haven't pulled being Hakeem. Oh, we've gone three in a row. Okay, and it's diamond to end it off. Okay, maybe we can go up to a pink diamond on the next pack. You never know. Small forward. I feel like we've already pulled this card. No, we haven't. I actually love this player in the game, by the way. It's Luol Dang, again, one of those insane defenders in the game. This is the pack I said we've gone on a bit of a streak. We've gone Amethyst, Amethyst, Diamond, Pink Diamond. No shake. Okay, back to Ruby. Back to reality. Back to another Amethyst straight away. Okay. I don't know my neck. 80 on my neck. Dear old, dear old, dear old, dear old. Another shake and another amethyst. I'm fine with that. This one is Australia's number one first overall pick being Andrew Bogut. Oh, we got another shake. It's again, just another amethyst. But I'm feeling like after we get this amethyst, we're going to get a diamond soon. This one was Gilbert Arenas. Oh, we got another shake. Hey, I literally called that. That was back to back. What even is that? That's insane. The fact I called that. This one is a shooting guard. This one looks like Ray Allen, which is again, another card I have which just adds more MT to the amount of packs we're able to open. Okay, we get another shake. But you want to know the thing I find craziest as we get an Amethyst here? We have not seen one holo card. That's literally it. I want to see one holo now as we get OG, another card we've already seen, already got. So we'll just quick sell him. Is it holo? No. Okay, another shake back to back this time. Again, an Amethyst. That's fine. This one's another Paolo. Shout out to the magic. Okay, another shake. Just another Amethyst. I need to see a diamond soon. It's Tatum. Okay, it's another shake. It's another Amethyst. We're getting a lot of Amethyst now. This one is Mr. Sean Livingston. Okay, another shake diamond. No, just an Amethyst. It is John Havlicek. <coughs> okay, we got... Oh, finally. Bro, it has taken so long. I've literally been getting bored of these packs. We do get a diamond. It's a point guard though. And it actually looks like Penny Hardaway, which would be an insane card to pull 
if I didn't already have him because he is a special insert and he's also a reward card. You have to complete the collection to get it, but we just have to quick sell him for 73k. Five penny. Okay, another shake, just another amethyst again. Oh, no, no, Thomas. Ring a ring a rosy. I am such a posy. Please give me a shake. It's an amethyst. It's Fred Van Fleet. Santa Claus is coming. Santa Claus is coming. He's not very far away. Actually, now he is, because now you have to wait like another hundred, what, 362 days or something like that. We get Jalen Green again. Another shake, another Ami. Hey, this one's a really good card. I used to use him so much. It's Anthony Davis. Amethyst. All right, I was hoping for better. Like I'm Pedro Sojakovic. Yeah, you may got a gun. Is that how it goes? I don't know. Oh, I'm literally yawning so much. It's another Amethyst. Another Fred. Another Shake. Another Amethyst. Hey, this man is a great player. And yes, it's Austin Reeves. But hey, still not a single holo or pink diamond unless it's a diamond. All right, that's a bit better than what I thought it was going to be. But still no pink diamonds. Imagine if this is a holo though. Like imagine the one diamond card we pull is actually a holo. Who is, is this DeJounte Murray? Yeah, it is. Okay, what a weird diamond to pull. Okay, another shake. This one in the same spot is an amethyst. It is not a duplicate though, because it's Clyde Drexler. And finally, we're out of the millions of MT. We're now just into the hundreds of thousands. I literally find that insane, the fact that I just said that. We get another amethyst here. Is it a player that we've already seen? A center, it potentially is. It's Dwight Howard. Yes, we've seen him. Do I care? I couldn't care less. It's just another card. We're gonna quick sell for a good amount of MT. Okay, shake for me, shake for me, shake for me. Me, uh, uh. Give me another D-Rose, 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 D-Rose. Uh. Okay, Shake Diamond. Oh, uh. DeMar DeRozan. Okay, another one. Dude, I need I, I need a pink diamond. It's Danny Ferry. Another Shake. Bro, I haven't seen diamond for so long. This one is Rashad Lewis. Oh my word, that's three in a row. And it's an Amethyst. Call me Billy. Another Amethyst in the middle. I need to see something better. So many Fred Van Fleets. Oh, finally. It has taken so long. I was literally just about to say next to Amethyst we got that it has taken so long to get a diamond. And this one is LaMelo Ball, who is another player that I've got. But that means I have to quick sell him and open up even more packs. I can't believe I'm saying that. It's like a disappointing thing. Another shake and Amethyst. This is one we haven't seen yet, and it's actually Zach Levine. Okay, shake. It's a diamond again. Okay, I feel better seeing two diamonds in about, what, 15 packs? Because, man, it has been a long time. And this is another weird card. One of the moments cards being Jalen Brunson. I'll take it. Okay, another shake. This will time an Amethyst. Diamond to Amethyst. I'll take it. And it's the man from the best team in the NBA, being the Detroit Pistons. It's Cade Cunningham. And we're now under 500,000 MT left with zero pink diamonds. Okay, meaning zero running for Angus. But we do get a diamond. I thought that was an Amethyst at first because I got the ball. But no, it's actually a diamond. And it looks like it's number 17. Who is this? Um... That's Jeremy Lin. When did he come out? I've got special edition. Oh, he was that weird car that dropped in packs for like one day. I didn't even know he was available in packs. I was so confused for a second there, but we do get another Ami. It's Sean once again. Okay, another shake. Is this the pink diamond we need to see? Bang. No, there's just no point in getting excited. Hunter on my neck. Hunter, 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 Hunter. It's D-Rose. Okay, we get another shake. I can't lie. I'm going a bit insane after opening up this many packs for this long. I've literally been recording for well over an hour just sitting in this chair opening up packs i just want this to be done this is way too much we get rashad lewis right here again okay another shake and this is back to back amethyst this one being james worthy oh my word another shake and this is another amethyst that's back to back to back our boy fred once again oh another shake that's four in a row what is going on this one's a player we haven't seen being manu ginobili the streak did finally end but then the pack after we get another shake and finally we see another diamond i'm hoping we haven't pulled this card or else i'm gonna have to quick sell it and it's Jalen Brunson. So I'm going to have to quick sell it. And that means we're going to have to spend more MT and more MT on these packs. This is taking so long. I can't even fathom how long this is going to take me to edit. Another shake. Be good. It's not good. We get a pink ball as well. Hey, it is a player we haven't seen. It's Chris Webber. Another one and another Amethyst. This one being George Mikan. We're finally up to our final 100,000 MT. And this is taking so much longer than I expected because I just didn't expect a lot of these players to quick sell for as much as they do. Some of these rubies quick sell for a lot. Meaning I know I've opened up well over 200 packs, which is a bit sad just because it looks like we're not going to get a pink diamond unless if it comes so clutch. I at least want one more shake. Like that's it. It's not looking looking good though lads it's not looking good depending on who we pull here this could be our final pack so is it our final pack oh my word it actually could be what ruby is it 
PJ Tucker. He quick sells for 4K. Oh no, that was. You know what? Let's do one more. Let's quick sell this Dale Ellis and do one more pack. I want to know that this is our final pack. So let's do it now. And after 5 million MT, after an hour and a half of recording this video, this pack opening, we're done. And we end on another ruby. That's kind of bad. I do end on one of my favorite cards though. Because we pulled a bunch of diamonds, also just a bunch of amethysts, and also heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of rubies. Our best pull probably was this Penny Hardaway. But yes, we got zero pink diamonds from these packs. I don't know what under 2% means, but it doesn't mean great odds. Anyway, speaking of these odds right here, it's time to go to future Angus when he does his editing. And let's talk about all these players that we pulled. So hi guys, it's Angus from the future here. I'm currently editing this video, but let's do some mathematical equations. So first of all, if we add all these numbers up, it equals 261, which means we open up 261 packs. If we times that by 25,000, that gives us the amount of MT that we actually spent, and that equals 6,525,000 MT. That's a lot. Now, if we look at these odds that 2K give us, it's actually quite similar to what we ended up getting, because basically all we have to do is put our number into this little calculator that then will work out the percentages of what the pack odds that we had were. So 181 is what percent of 261? That gave us 69%, which means out of all the packs we opened, 69% of them, giggity, were rubies. Then for Amethyst, we pulled 62 of those. So if we put that into our little calculator, it gives us 24%. And then finally, we ended up pulling 18 diamonds. So putting that into the calculator gives us 7%. But unfortunately, yes, when we look at the pink diamonds, we pulled zero of them, giving us 0%. Meaning now, if we look back on the odds, we actually did pretty well because we got more diamonds than we should have expected, given we were only expected to have a 5% chance of pulling a diamond. So yes, call me the mathematical king because we're done, but also I'm shocked the fact we didn't pull a single hollow this entire video. Anyway, back to past Angus that's not editing. So yeah, I don't know how I feel about these packs. All our MT is gone. My camera's off, but uh, let's just peace out, guys. <laughs>